everyone, Vampire218 here, and welcome back to Dango Ripa. And with that, he was gone, leaving us in a state of shock. So guys, uh, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? Uh, how? I, I don't understand any of this. We, we have to live for forever, or kill? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokumo said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we live here forever in a communal life until the day we die. The other choice is... Mm -hmm. If we want to get to the fear alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> oh, we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place until it looked like a school. And we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie. It's what it is. These are ridiculous things we've heard. This has to be fake. Hmm. Right now, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters In is... Other words. Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all of this? Nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They're all staring at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. But that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monogama had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And with that, how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's... A school of despair. Yeah! Boom! Do, 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 do. CSI. Oh, that's it. The end of the game, guys. GG. Surviving Students 15. Well, that's... The fact that they have that. Oh, good. To be continued. The end. Good night. Bye, guys. Game over. Is that actually game over? Oh goodness, why is this? Oh my god. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be Makoto. Yeah, that's me. So, uh, that's uh, Sayaka and Leon. Uh, the programmer. Oh, it's going too fast, Celeste. It's going too fast. Sorry, guys. Um, Monokuma. <laughs> Fanfic writer. Okay. I, I, I would, I wish that was a little slower, but... The art style in this game is actually amazing. Goodness. Oh, these are not looking good. Trial. Hope. Innocent luck. Dra I didn't read that awesome. Hmm. Hmm. I'm still in this game blind, guys. Oh, I got an item. Iris the school crest present do you want to save the data yes you must kill someone if you want to leave oh my mind froze my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that I could feel paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body dominating every last nerve the air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had to endure what that weight. Chapter 1. To survive daily life. To survive daily life. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took, all it took to pierce it was her sharp yeah. words. So, what are you going to do now? Hey. 
Just stand around glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us up back to reality. R right. She's right. Listen to me. Sometimes even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. Mm -hmm. To forget such a simple fact, I cannot forgive myself. Listen I am so ashamed. Please, someone hit me. I cannot forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. <laughs> Jesus. You have time to yell about it. You have time to do something about it. Oh, perhaps. What mission is exactly? Stupid. Idiot. Look at the way out, duh. We totally need to find out whoever's controlling the stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But, but before we do any of that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokumo mentioned before we do anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something might happen again. Shit. All right. So Fine, let's hurry up and check those stupid rules already. Ah. Makato Nagi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. Just like Monokumo said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Okay. An itemized list appeared on the screen. It was the school's regulations. In other words, the rules imposed on all of us. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving the campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokumo is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling straight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked ahead, I saw the same stormy expressions on everyone's Stop faces. This is bullshit! What kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! Well then, why don't we wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what the rules when someone breaks one of them. However... Oh, but if he got punished like we saw before, I don't think he'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So? What? I have a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but what you are saying... You'll follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. I guess you're right. Uh, oh, I have a question. For Regulation 6, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? I wonder was I was wondering about that myself. It says if you want to graduate, all you have to do is kill someone without anyone finding out is it was you. But 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 why why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules and they've explained to Such us. Ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who wants, waits for others to decide what to do for them. D -d 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 don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Mm. Well, for now, let's forget all this silly junk and murders and whatever. Okay. Now we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight! Start looking around. I'll leave him alone. What? Why? That's pretty stupid, don't you think? Someone here might already start to think about murdering one of us. Um, are you saying that you want to stand around them in our midst and make each other easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never. Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear, then the graduation rule wasn't made clear to you. Am I wrong? Uh, um... B -b but... <laughs> so, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. H hold on. Like hell I'm gonna run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? 
<laughs> what the fuck's that supposed to mean? One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minicule, cool and insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it, we shouldn't what? fight. Fucks you say? You some kind of goody-goody little bitch? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're some fucking dad or something? No, I I, I wasn't. You son of a Fuck you! Oh, he punched me. Did he knock me out? Oh, he punched me and I flew back in a heat. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, I was soaring through the air the next. Now that I about it, I maybe I'd forgotten the kind of people I was trapped here with. My common sense had stopped functioning. Being around these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to one as certain as this. But I just lost sense of my reality. That was the last thought of my conscience started to fade. But then it finally cut out completely. And when I opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Uh, huh? Where am I? As if become a part of the daily routine, I woke up in another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can provide any information as you play. Uh, F1 key. Uh, regulations and a report card section. And a map. Try with bullets may be available. I'm the system. Finally, the F2 key to do. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh. Okay, so let's take a look. Presents. Oh, there's 114 presents. <laughs> Ultimate unlucky. This is really nice. Ultimate moral compass. I like that. Regulations, I already know those, and system. That'll let me save, so let's go ahead and do that. What's this? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokumo. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Marking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure you do not use yours. Remake it. <clears throat> Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map. <coughs> the sewing kit includes a map of the bodies of vital organs one stab will do a good job girls for the boys we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample don't think just feel and enjoy ourselves um well then what's this is this my toolkit no it's some kind of lint roller are we supposed to clean up after ourselves it's a notepad i guess the school must have given out to each of us uh this is my room key yeah, that's uh, my name written on the keychain, which means it must be mine. I guess I'll hang it for now. Where's that um, toolkit? It looks like there's something in the drawer. Hey, it's my toolkit! Um, I don't think I'll need these right now, so I'll just leave them here. It doesn't seem anything particularly strange on the bed. Just an ordinary trash can. Oh, I found something. What's that? Background music? That's kind of cool. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Oh, it's not opening. I guess it's locked. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go. <clears throat> Looks like the store leaves the side. It's locked. Some sort of rooms have locks. Oh, I think I'm going to start to understand. The room must be... Ah, uh, my dormitory. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious, so that answers the question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. 
Let's leave. Yes. I am really liking this game, guys. I hope you guys are, too. I rushed off to meet with the others, all of the others, but there was something waiting for me. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Uh. <laughs> oh, that's the pop star. Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. Aww. She had an embarrassed smile on her face, and I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sarika? Are you hurt? <laughs> you made it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping on down, down on stage. Well, that's good, then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right there from the beginning. Makato! Oh, I'm fine. Nothing that's wrong good. here. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, are you doing... What are you doing here? Um... I actually came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you're feeling better, I was hoping you could come with me to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more efficient if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later and talk about what we each found out. So does this mean we're... It's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with that's you. Good. Good, I'll go ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. This is sketchy as could be. Whoa. Everyone's me other than I should have there myself. Okay, I can't. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. They're like the 8 bit. So who am I? Who's around my room? Where's my room? Okay, so I'm near Bayuka. Oh, I don't like that guy. Oh, I'm right, right, right near Mondo. Okay guys, so I guess we're going to go to the dining hall in the next episode. So I've been Vampire218 and I will see you guys then. Bye!